All right. Oh, my God. So this song is up. Uh, me and uh, Thomas. Thomas Clark in Raleigh wrote this uh, 10 years ago to like, I think the day. Hold on. Let me. Right? Thomas Clark and James Lugo. Look at that. Exactly. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. April 26th, 2014. So pretty much exactly 10 years ago. And. I don't know. I think I look. I think I just ended up wanting to just do a cover band and just have fun. And I don't know. It's a cool band, though. I think it, at the time it was. I was singing, playing guitar. Thomas Clark on guitar, who was killer. Tarek on drums, who was killer. This is Bobby Patterson from Dag, from the band Dag. He's like a Raleigh legend bass player, and I think. He was kind of like, he wasn't really probably able to be in the band. I think we were talking to Mike Sedito about being in the band. But anyway, I'll play you a little bit of it. So this we tracked. And uh, for the most part, we, tra we tracked it. And then, uh, yeah. And then uh, I ended up not doing anything with it. So there's a scratch vocal and there's lyrics. So here we go. Never laid to waste. So about 20, I'd say probably 2002, 2003, so like over 20, or two, right, over tw 20 years ago, I had mixed, I did this EP, which, which I was so proud of, it was, we were in Hollywood, Greg Sartiano and me did it together, uh, Greg Cash on bass, I was on guitar, Greg was on bass. No. Greg Sartiano was on bass. I was on guitar. And Adam... Adam Gust was on drums. And I think I played a little keyboards and Greg played some guitar too and he played bass. And Anyway, it was so awesome. And Michael Wagner, you know, I we both moderate Gear Sluts, so we were, you know, hanging a lot with all that AES and NAM and NAB. So he was out in LA. He came out to the studio and we were, we somehow met down in the car. We were going, he introduced me to sushi. <laughs> Anybody knows Michael Wagner? He likes sushi. He got me hooked on sushi too. Um, I took him out to the car. Like, right. I was in my Beamer and, and I, I put, I put the, the CD right of, of Where Are You Today, which was the big, you know, which was the song. And I played it for him, you know. Hey, Mike, the dude, the mix master of puppets, right? So, and he was rocking out. He liked it. And when it got done, he liked it. And he says, yeah, that's great. And, you know, try that. You know, he had some ideas. And he said something to me. And I'll never forget. He said, the key to mixing rock is figuring out how to get the guitars too loud. That's exactly what he said. I think mostly in the chorus. So you got to figure out how to get the guitars too loud. Because if the guitars are mixed in too well, the song doesn't rock. So, Matt, you know, not only, I mean, no more tears, right? <laughs> I mean, talk about guitars, like, I don't know. They don't seem to, they're loud, though. With that, this is going to be the trick is for me not to bury this song <laughs> with these guitars. That's just crazy. And then there's a whole other layer of guitars over the chorus. So I think 
if I'm not mistaken, this was Thomas's. Just, I remember when he played it, I was like, you got to be kidding me, man. I'm like, that that's crazy. That's so good. That on the left, so we're looking here on the left is my Black Paul in drop C sharp through my old Rev 2 Ubershaw. This is making me miss my Ubershaw and Billy, but in 80s mode. And the right side is my Black Paul <laughs> into my Ubershaw into my old Harry Brown Eye, which was, uh, which I sold. <sighs> Maybe this is not a healthy, just to bring this up bring this track up but this was uh this was a 1971 super tremolo that dave friedman did the did the kitchen sink harry brown eye brown eye and custom 45 which was the billy howardale mod and it had depth knobs and you know <laughs> so there you go so if we listen to them what we'll do, what i'll do is i will zero everybody out so they'll all be the same so here is Das Ubershaw. Whoa, that was loud. Good Lord. Here's Billy, the Cameron modded 800 that I still have. And then the other one's the Uber Shaw. And then here's my 71 Harry Brown Eye. Wow. Wow. So a couple of people have already asked about getting tracks for this. I'm going to give everybody, I'm just going to say what I'm going to say. This thing better rock. This is not a nerd mix. This is a, you better like throw down the hammer. This has to sound like no more tears or like, you know, this has to be heavy duty. Good Lord. And then the other track is left and right. My Black Paul drop C sharp with my old uh, uh, Rocker Verb 50. You can see, I wrote all this stuff down. That's why I write this stuff down. So check this out. This comes in in the chorus. Th this is cool. That's weird. It's almost like I sped it. I don't know what that is. Okay. Anyway, that sounds like me. And then you put them together and you get... Thomas's and mine. Okay, so we'll go at the beginning. Here's Tarek's drums. So we've got kick in, kick out, snare top, snare bottom, tom one, two, three. This is my old silver kit. This is my old Yamaha Oak Custom silver kit with all uh, knock A customs, just Zildjian A's with a 22 inch rock ride, maybe. And those, the, the, the 15 inch, whatever, new beats. Yeah, there's staircase. Remember, anybody remembers my old studio in Raleigh, there was a staircase, right? Let's check out the staircase. Right. 
and uh, so I've got uh, overs riding high hat let me move them in where they're gonna go right because I I'm always uh, drummer perspective well, there it is so it's uh, three toms ride uh, SM 81 I mean it's all right I was such a fanatic SM 81 Loughton's, uh, that's the uh, Overs, Rooms, uh, Stereo M160s, and Staircase was just a 58. Uh, the number is probably the preamp number. But yeah, here we go. So here's... Great. Yeah, so it's uh kick, it has this 06 moved ride. That's that that shouldn't be. That's uh that's gonna be a beta fifty two. That's that's what I've really just been using since forever. So it kick in, beta fifty two, kick out AKG one thousand. My 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 cousin uh, Ali Lugo gave me that. I still have it. 57 snare top, 57 snare bottom, 421s on all three toms. And then SM81 on rides, which they're a little bright. SM81 on hi-hats, Loughton Atlantises, two of them, right? I think I had a stereo pair of Atlantises. Yeah, something like that. And 160 stereo pair, of, or two, two uh, on the rooms, 58 on the stairs. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm going to go to these synths. <laughs> so the synth, the, 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 I just did that because two of, two of the synths showed up with nothing because they were my old Nexus. I don't have Nexus anymore. But I remember one was like, a, so that was it. I took one of the synths out and then I had a B3, which is here. Let's see where the B3 comes in. That comes in. Corny sounding, but in the whole context, and that, that may come down anyway. <laughs> well, let's tire, fire up. This is this is Bobby Patterson on bass. This this is my him and Tarek were my best buddies in Raleigh. Oh, I, I miss these guys. Anyway, here's uh here's the beginning with Bobby Patterson on bass, Tarek on drums, and my little... my verse right so now we know we got guitars and that's it and then we've got leads at the end so let's listen to the beginning now that you kind of have a sense of it guitars didn't have mics on it it was mostly back then i was mostly 57s 421s and uh m160s so it was probably some and i had a bunch of cabs i had a bunch of Marshall, I had a, a cup, I had an orange Marshall, a Mesa, and a Bogner, I think. I had it all.
so I just sung along a little bit, mumbled along. I can sing it. I, my, my voice is, this is going to be cool, man. It's going to sound, let's see. What, <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I can't, can't do it so you can hear it. I'll, we'll just, should I open up a mic? Here, let's try something. Hold on. Stay with me. Stay with me. Seven. Let's tuck it in in case it gets crazy. But I got to crank it in here because you got to have that energy up. Hey, hey, hey. So, hey, hey, hey. Uh, I'm going to mumble along a little bit. All right. Hey, you took the tragedy, but I will never be the same again. I wish I could be blaming you, say the truth, but I can never play the game again. in this mental zone right now but i'll be able to sing it all right so there it is whoo that's legit yo let's go to the solo which is thomas which i'm thinking maybe i'll try a little solo on it maybe switch it out maybe combine it i don't know it's a nice solo though it's melodic this is harry brown eye and billy So, there it is. I don't know. The solo's cool. I'm just going to leave it. This is it. So, I've got the lyrics. Um, where are the lyrics? I got the lyrics. Took a tragedy. Now I will never be the same with him. I wish I could have been blaming you shade the truth yeah you know dark self self-deprecating rock lyrics oh feeling that sunshine for once in my lifetime the heat it makes me strong wow it's crazy oh hold back the rain strengthens your faith you never laid to you're never laid to waste yeah this is i've had a lot of redemption in my life kids I mean, you're looking at a guy that died twice on the operating table and for extended period, not not in 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 uh, in uh, the ER, yeah, twice for extended periods of time. Um, yeah, one time I suffocated in the in the ER. That was weird. That was weird. I, they 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 intubated me and. The, the they put dye in they put dye like so that they could see when they're doing the x-rays and the dye started coming up and when it reached a part a point it shut the breathing machine off 
And it, once they int when they intubate you, you're you're like paralyzed. You're totally awake, but you're physically paralyzed. And I'm sitting there. And now I can't breathe, and I'm trying to like tick tick tick. There's nobody. Some dude walks in that like em the, the janitor empties the garbage, and the machine that has been going, making the sound of the air and the this is now going beep beep beep. I guess it's you know it's a warning, but that guy didn't know, and I was like, <laughs> so anyway, that's what this is about. You think I'd had enough, but I had to touch the flame again. I never said I was perfect. I'm a man who prays when it rains. It's just, I never knew the feeling of the truth. I hold back the rain, strengthens your faith. You never lay to waste. Yeah, it's really about redemption. It's really about second chances. So it's a positive tune. It's dark, but I got to call Thomas. I don't know if I still have his phone number. Dude, I'm going to freak him out. Let's see if this goes. I'm gonna solo his solo. What's up, man? Hey, I wanna play you something. You got one second? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just getting my littlest one a bath. So oh, you got babies now. All right, hold on, we'll catch up. I wanna play you yeah. something. Tell me if you remember this. You remember it, huh? Damn fest, right? No, well, that was the song, Never Laid to Waste. Yeah, I think that oh, was an yeah, amp fest yeah. too, too. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah. cause, cause dude, it's like, it's like, this is like the, this is like the, the ultimate ringtone. Hold on one second and then I'll let you get, get that. Check it out. I remember the, the phaser on that. Side. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Hey, I just want to tell you, I'm finishing the song. Oh, okay. Finally, okay, I'm awesome. going to track the vocals and mix it, and uh, I'll get you a copy, and we'll go from there, right? Dude, that's awesome. That's crazy. All right. I mean, this is real, right? This ain't just, you know, we, we this ain't some scripted uh, reality video. This is just reality video. <laughs> All right, so... Next video is going to be vocals, and then it's going to be mix. And I will, when this is done, I'll, uh, I will get all these tracks consolidated and sent out. I know my buddy David Vignola, he, he had showed some interest in mixing it and a couple of other guys. So we will uh, we'll get this out. And, and th I think this is a cool song to mix, fun song, slamming. I think the sounds are probably really good, right? Here's drums. Eh. Yeah, it sounds good. It's funny that my my where my drums were in Raleigh was about an 800 square foot room, eight nine big. It was a 1700 square foot built out uh, basement below that you know the bottom of the house. About 800, 900 feet where the drums were. I thought they always sounded good. That's my old custom. That's Tarek. You know, Neve preamps, like all the stuff. Really sounded great. When we came here, I was here a week and then Tarek came out. And we set up. We had just tracked a week before I moved. I left Raleigh and moved to Nashville. So then the week after I was here, Tarek came out, spent the weekend... We set the drums up. We set the mics up. So it was the same drum set, same drum heads, same cymbals, same drum sticks, same drummer, same Pro Tools rigs, same preamps, same microphones. Actually, it was a smaller version because I didn't have stereo rooms because it's so small. I had a mono room and stereo overs. And instead of having the bath, the 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 staircase, I had a bathroom mic, which I put in the shower in here. Couldn't stay in the shower. Who gets that reference? And uh, so we track about a minute of it. And uh, I, we listen back and I'm like, wow, that really sounds good. Tarek's like, yeah, that sounds great. 
play back a little bit more. And I'm like, I'm gonna see if I can find it. I'm like, does, I'm like, does that sound not reverb, reverb nation or reverb nation, right? I said, does that sound, uh, does that sound um bigger than Raleigh? And he's like, yeah. And then he goes, oh, it's the vaulted ceilings. Because it's like a 20-foot ceiling that goes up. So even though the the space... Yeah, here's the drums from that day. I'll play it for you. Even though the, the, the space is way smaller, the higher ceilings made it sound great. So here's, here's an MP3 bounce from that day, uh, 2015. In this room, same drums, same drummer, same everything. Only a mono room. That sounds killer. I couldn't believe it. So anyway, it's a little useless bit of information there. But So here you go. I'm going to get this going and we'll do a video with vocals. Then we'll do a mix video. In the mix video, I will have all of the individual tracks consolidated. And, and I'll pro I will do samples. You know, I'll do triggers. I will bounce out the triggers. So you'll, you'll have exactly what I... And mixing and then if you want to use your own triggers that's fine but you'll have everything all right all right hey day 40 without the uh grains wheat flour this morning exactly 12 pounds down it's happening